All right, viewers. Welcome back. I've just spent a metric ass ton of time. Uh, looks to be about 10 hours worth of grinding. And I am almost completely done with the uh, grinding that I need to do. I have gotten Titus, Waka, and Riku up to max 255 for all of their stats with the exception of Luck. The reason why luck isn't up there is mostly because the enemies that drop the luck and fortune spheres are a part of the original bosses. So, uh, yeah, you know what, before I do that, um, I have also been passively trying to grind up dark matters, but... Th those are rare drops, so that, that's going to take a bit. I will show off the method that I am going to use to grind Dark Matters a little bit later. When I actually am excuse me, able to have luck and all that. So, with that uh, said, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to go into a quick fight with the Tonberry and just... Uh, auto battle. That way I can, uh... Yeah, I know. Cheating because of auto battle and the fucking speed it up and all that. Uh, it is worth noting that that 10 hours would have taken significantly longer if it weren't for the fact that I have been utilizing the times 4 turbo. The dark flan or jumbo flan or what the fuck ever takes for fucking ever to kill and I'm not going to sit here for 20 hours straight grinding the uh, magic spheres. Alright. So, now that everybody's got their overdrives filled up, time to head on in. Fight some monsters. So, this episode, we're going after the Earth Eater. Who, had I came in with anything less than uh... Anything less than this goddamn uh, maximized stats. Uh, that that would have just one shot Riku. So the generalized method that's going to be used for these originals and by extension the Dark Aeons and all that is it's going to be Waka gets hasted, uses Overdrive, then use Entrust to, uh, give him his overdrive back. Uh, there you are in trust. <laughs> uh, give me a second, viewers. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Dog was, uh, being a bit of a butt. Alright. So, yeah, this is the generalized strategy. Just attack reels, then trust, attack reels, and trust. I've got maximized stats, so if this thing does get a turn, and it will be able to get a turn, uh, it won't be able to just outright kill the entire party, thankfully enough. That's going to be safe for the other super bosses. Ah. Uh, Alright. Uh, uh, for every uh, original episode that comes in after this, I will preemptively grind up the... Uh, or preemptively do the Tauntaun Berry fights. That way I can have my overdrive ready. And if I am correct in my thinking, this should kill it. The Earth Eater is going to be one of the ones that I grind off screen, as the Earth Eater drops one of the two spheres I need. It dies. I gain my experience, and the Earth Eater drops fortune spheres. Uh, as y'all may already know, the fortune spheres are, are what is used to, uh, no, I've got one somewhere over here. 
are what used to unlock these luck nodes. And yeah, I'm gonna have to grind a bunch of that to uh, get everybody maxed out. So I'll see y'all in a little bit for the next original. Cheers. <laughs>